Truth Unveiled here, and today I have some very interesting stuff to share with you. I'm going to be talking about the Olympics and its connection to CERN, because yes, you should be very concerned indeed. And we're going to be talking about some of the eerie and suspicious symbolism that was invoked at the Olympics in both the opening and the closing ceremony, and how this relates to CERN, as well as the very cryptic things that's been recently going on as CERN, such as the mock human sacrifice, that and more to come. Now, of course, the picture that you're currently looking at is the Olympic torch that was being extinguished by a waterfall as well as the rain. And notice how it just so happened to rain at the closing ceremony. Very interesting and suspicious indeed. But not to mention, of course, we have right here once again the sun symbolism and all of the sun worship too. But also notice how singer Marianne Castro, as she's singing, it's raining and it's depicting her with the rain that's raining all over her. Could this really symbolize and could this really mean the false reign and the coming false reign of their sun deity and their sun god? Because we also know darn well that the Olympic torch also represents who? Apollo the sun god. And there's even an article to prove that, that that's exactly what it's talking about. That's who it's giving homage to and I hope you're seeing that because that's who's reverenced at the Olympic Games. But it's also interesting because it reminds us of rain just like purple rain and Prince that also came out around the same time with all the propaganda of purple and purple rain. Could this symbolize the arrival of the false prince and the false reign and the false millennial? Is that what they're getting ready for? And is that what they're subliminally trying to tell you? And is it a surprise or a coincidence? that even during the Olympics that there would just so happen to be a movie coming out and a trailer release that just so happens to be called Arrival and in the same exact movie there just so happened to depict UFOs and so-called aliens in that movie not to mention the UFO music as well. Is that a surprise or a coincidence either? I don't think so and we're gonna go over more of that later on to come. Here are just a few more pictures from the Olympics at the closing ceremony like I said, it's no surprise or coincidence that it just so happened to be raining on that day and not any other day. It could have rained any other single day, but it chose to rain on that day. But let's keep moving forward because I also thought was very interesting about these Olympics in particular is that they kept mentioning the themes of rebirth and renewal and they kept using different symbolisms in order to depict that and in order to portray that. And any time that the elite or the Illuminati are pushing for a new world or pushing for a rebirth or a renewal or any of the symbolisms and any such symbolisms, that should be ringing some serious alarm bells because they're obviously trying to tell you something subliminally. And I've already gone over this in my opening ceremony video just a week ago. But I also thought it was interesting too how the slogan for the Rio 2016 Olympic Games just so happens to be a new world and this is according to the real 2016 website itself back of June of 2016 and it says real 2016 motto promotes the concepts of transformation through sport and changing the world for the better if only that were the case for the Illuminati because their plans for a new world is what depopulation and you can actually see the actual logo and slogan right here if you scroll down this is what it is right there as you see a new world well what's the new world for but what was also interesting about the Olympics all throughout it, including through the opening and the closing ceremonies, they kept mentioning the importance of tree symbolism and the importance of trees and rebirth. And although they may not seem like a big concept or a giant concept to the elite and the Illuminati, it's huge. And you're going to see how it relates to CERN in just a second, because like I said, that's all they've been showing us. That's all they've been depicting a new world with all the trees and everything. But what was also very interesting about the closing ceremony itself is when they showed this very large tree, which reminds us, of course, of the movie Avatar and how those trees look, which symbolizes transformation and what preparing for a new world and getting ready for a new world. But that's all you're seeing is transformation. 
as well as formation, just like Beyonce formation of the New World Order, just like they depicted to you at the Super Bowl 50, if you were paying attention. But that's not the only thing, because see, with the symbolism of a tree, and you're going to see even with the palm tree symbolisms, that's the same thing as the phoenix rising out of the ashes. And we know that because a palm tree, when it burns, the leaves just regrow. It represents regrowth, and it also happens to represent rebirth, too. Just just like at the London 2012 closing ceremony where we saw the phoenix rising out of the ashes once again representing rebirth. They're the exact same concept to the Illuminati. My hope is that you see that it's the exact same thing. Yeah, it's just using a tree, but it's the exact same thing. The same symbolism, phoenix rising out of the ashes. You can even look at your dollar bill and it will show you the exact same thing. And as I've said earlier, that's all they've been pushing for at these Olympics specifically is trees and palm trees. And as you can see, these are palm trees that are being celebrated and reverenced at the opening ceremony itself just a few weeks ago. Not to mention also the actual stadium itself, because when you look at the stadium and when you look at the Maracana Stadium for the opening ceremony specifically, it is very reminiscent of what CERN and the CERN technology, it just so happens to look like the CERN portals and the certain doorways, the opening of the abyss, literally. And then another thing that I noticed that was very interesting about the closing ceremony that, of course, did not get much attention is the lace making dance right here. As you can see, there's a woman standing in the middle who's making lace. But as you can see, there are dancers that are circling around her. And like I said, this was at the closing ceremony of the Olympic Games. And immediately I was reminded of a few things when I saw this, because like I said, it's no surprise or a coincidence whatsoever. Because when you look at this clearly, you start to see that it is very reminiscent of what the CERN and the Shiva dance, just as they've even shown you. They've even shown you a commercial in clips of the CERN dancers and those at CERN dancing and doing the Shiva dance. Well, the Shiva dance is the dance of destruction, and this is very reminiscent of that. But what this also reminded me of and what this also was pushing is very reminiscent of the Red Bull propaganda that they pushed back in April of 2016. And this is when the daredevil motorcyclist Daniil Ivanov was riding and circling around a shaman back in Siberia, Russia, doing what was known as the Red Bull Circle of Shaman. Now what's very cryptic about it is that it looks very ritualistic and mind you, this was released around the same time as the Olympic torch Apollo reference that was released around five days just before around the same time as we saw the propaganda with the death of the prince and the birth of the queen because the queen turned 90 by the way is that a coincidence either of course the false reign and symbolizing the false reign of the false prince to come because this is all leading up to what CERN and destruction that's why they're always constantly putting the dance of destruction and the Shiva dance of destruction right in front of your face just like with the lace making at the closing Olympic ceremony but that's not the only thing because do you really think that it's just so happens that on August 18th which was the 13th day of the Olympics by the way that this was released and what this is actually showing you is that it's showing you the mock sacrifice and the mock human sacrifice that was done at CERN right in front of the Shiva statue that is in CERN no surprise whatsoever but it's interesting because when you look very closely at it you start to see that they're lined up in a circle once again and you see the woman right here wearing white right there which of course reminds us of the dance of destruction just like with the CERN dancers as well as the lace making that we saw and that being depicted too so we see how it ties into CERN but we also see how they're getting ready to bring in their new world order to usher in a new world which was the slogan of the Olympics and not only are they going to be doing that but they're also preparing for the arrival and like I said, it's no surprise or coincidence that they made this propaganda of this mock ritual that was done on the 13th day of the Olympics. And by the way, it was the same day and the same time as a full moon as well. And this is not the first time that we've heard about a full moon being referenced around this time because even Black Knight Dakota, if you can think back to November of 2015, well, the propaganda that Pepsi pushed through Black Knight Dakota is what the full moon on the the next full moon they'll be ready for us I wonder what they're subliminally trying to tell us 
Now, while this was, in fact, a fake mock sacrifice, it did not actually happen. No one was actually sacrificed here, although this stuff does go on. They're literally showing you and telling you what goes on on a daily basis, on a secondly basis in the elite and the Illuminati, because they do, in fact, do and conduct these sacrifices, really, and I'm not making that up. But it's interesting, too, and how it also relates to CERN and the full moon and Black Knight Decoded. It's all relative. It all all connects together and I hope you see how it's all connecting and how the elite are literally telling us and literally putting the pieces together for us now I don't know if anybody else caught this or anybody else paid attention to this but it's also very interesting and suspicious indeed because on the 11th day of the Olympics so on August 16th of 2016 just two days before the CERN mock sacrifice that took place in front of CERN this trailer came out for this movie called Arrival that's supposed to be coming out in 2016 and it's supposed to be in theaters on November 11th on 11-11 and they just so happened to release the trailer for it on the 11th day of the Olympics. Oh, that's not a coincidence either. Now I'm at the IMDB page for the movie and it says a linguist is recruited by the military to assist in translating alien communications because they're going to keep feeding us this propaganda of, oh my goodness, there are aliens. Oh my gosh, aliens are coming from other planets when we know darn well that they're just the fallen angels and demons disguised as aliens from other planets. And we know that the propaganda is pushing because we know it's in preparation for their new world order, for a new world, out with the old, in with the new, Phoenix rising out of the ashes. We also know that CERN has a lot to do with ushering in this new world order because what out with the old and in with the new order out of chaos and not only that but all the stage disasters that we're seeing because they've even told you that the Louisiana flooding was man-made indeed. Please seek Yahuwah and his true son Yahusha because the arrival is coming sooner than you think arriving to a police state near you. We may not know when but we know it's coming but this is Truth Unveiled here saying Shalom.